So here's the thing, guys and girls. You've probably seen the video that we made about um, Devin Wenig's retirement, or not retirement, sorry, his um, resignation. And in that video, we published it, and then um, that night eBay, eBay sent us an email. And in the email it said, hey, we noticed that you were talking about um, the employee seller hub, or the employee access, basically. And um, they told me that it was available to all sellers. So before I even start today's video, um, I still stand by most of the things that we said about eBay and promotions and all that stuff, but I wanna say sorry. I wanna say sorry to eBay. Didn't I didn't know that that was there. Um, I talked to people at eBay they told me that it was still in beta testing and that's why we didn't have it on our account. So apparently it was there, it's been there since eBay Open 2019. Um, we did not go to eBay Open 2019, so that could explain why we didn't know. And then the other thing is, it's it's pretty difficult to find it. It's kind of hidden on eBay. Why they would do that, I have no idea. It's a great tool and it should be front and center. It should, I mean, get a get a button that says eBay Employee Hub now available or whatever you want to call it. Lindy Glenn did an awesome video recently about the Employee Hub being available. So definitely go check out her video. She explained it very, very well. And she was actually at eBay Open this year. So go learn from her. Um, I'm going to flash over to my computer really quick just to show you guys where to find that hub. Because again, it is kind of hidden and I believe you do have to have a store, I don't know if you have to have a certain level store, but you have to have a store and you have to have, um, you have to have the seller hub as well, I believe. So I'm gonna flash over to my computer really quick just to show you guys how to find that feature on eBay. Hopefully you have it. Um, we do have it now. I found it and we tested it. We're currently testing it. So um, that is there. Let's flash over and I'll show you where to find that feature and then we'll come back and I'm gonna go hit this Goodwill really quick. Okay, so you wanna to go to my eBay, my account, and once you're in here, down to the very left, you'll see a section called permissions. If you click on that section, it'll take you to this user access area and you can click on authorize users. From there, you can click on add user and you can set up a new user. I'm gonna do it as a test here. So Ryan Roots and I'm gonna do it as a test account to see how the email comes in um, so we can see exactly how new user would create an account. So it says success invitation has been sent to Ryan Root's test invitation pending. Let's check it out. Here's the email from eBay, accept the invite. I'm going to click on accept invite and it's asking me to create an account. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna create account under Ryan Root's test. And now it's saying accept the invite from the hip line. Let's click on accept and see what happens. All right, so it's instantly giving me a message. It says, success, you've been added to the HipLions account. So now I can try to do some stuff on this account. I'm gonna log in and it should take me right into the Seller Hub. So here we are, this is in the HipLions uh, account and I'm not logged into the HipLine. I'm logged in as an employee. You can see it says you are accessing the HipLions account, switch account, and if I go to drafts, Yep, here's all of the drafts currently right now for this account. And I can click on create a listing and create my own listing if I want to under this account. And let me go into one of the drafts and see uh, see if it lets me edit everything. So yeah, everything in here looks pretty normal as if I was listing this on my own account. So this is cool. This is great for giving access to employees. And you can see I'm logged in as Ryan, but it's not under the hip line. It's a completely different account. So let's go into my account settings and see what it says. Yeah, so there you go. It says the hip line account, Ryan Roots Inc. Um, and it tells me the permissions that I have and says that my account is active under there. This is pretty cool. So I do wanna log out and log back into the hip line account and go back to permissions. I just wanna see what it says now that I have accepted it. So Ryan Roots test says active. Perfect, so I can see what employees are using the, the hub. So there you go, it works. It's up and running, it's working. Go and check it out and try it out. Thanks again, Lindy. Let's uh, let's get back to thrifting. These are that uh, Sabago brand. Uh, I think they call them dock sliders or ciders. And uh, we've sold these before in the past for like 35 to 40 dollars, so they might be good. These look like really nice boots. Uh, Vibram soles, I've never I've never heard of this brand before, Low Lowa but they feel like nice, like all leather, high quality boots. So 
I will, I guess I'll take a second to check them out on eBay. They are $15 though, so they have to be worth a decent amount of money to buy them. Some Doc Martens, uh, we've done okay with these lately. It all comes down to like the model number. Um, these are a little expensive, so I probably won't get them. Adidas, Chelsea, Turkish Airlines, Jersey. This could be good, it's only $3, so uh, we'll probably at least pick it up for three bucks. I think it's probably worth it. Screen Stars Best Made in the USA label. Interesting graphic, it says town and country days on it, but it's definitely a nice vintage t-shirt. It is single stitch, which is always a good sign with vintage. This is pretty cool. Nike, Anorak, front pocket, and vented in the back too. It's a pretty nice jacket. Oh, the pull is, the pull is a bit messed up, broken. But it's only $4, so I'll probably still get it. It's in good condition overall besides that pole, so I'll probably pick this one up. Okay, so I ended up picking just a few things up at that Goodwill. Um, I picked up the Screen Stars Best vintage shirt. Not sure what that's worth, probably like 20 bucks. It's not an amazing graphic, but it's pretty cool. I picked up the Nike jacket. I was able just to kind of crumble the rest of that little uh, zipper pull off. So now it's fine. I think it'll sell for a decent amount of money, probably like I don't know, 30 bucks for that one. I picked up the Adidas Chelsea jersey. I wasn't able to find one that said Turkish Airlines, I think is what's on that one. Um, I looked it up and I found an article that said that that was going to be the 2015, 2016 away jersey for Chelsea. Um, but I don't know if it actually printed like that. So that one needs a bit more research, but it was worth the gamble for a few bucks. And then lastly, this is a brand of boots that I've actually never found. Um, the brand is Loa, Lo Loa, I think is how you say it. They're really good boots. I mean, they have the Vibram soles. They definitely need to be cleaned up a little bit. They're made in Italy, which is interesting. So I don't know, but I looked up comps on them and it looks like it looks like we should be able to get between like 80 to a hundred dollars for these boots. So that's why I paid 15 bucks for them. That's why I picked them up. Um, we'll take a shot. Sometimes, sometimes we find brands that we kind of just have to take a gamble on. That's part of the business. So, um, anyway, those were the items that I picked up and I am heading up to our warehouse now and I need to get this video out like as soon as possible because we've probably had like 20 messages already from people saying, Hey, go watch Lindy Glenn's video that, um, that hub is out. So, uh, hopefully this update video will put things straight. <laughs> what up? I'm out of here. <laughs> what up, Callie? How's it going? Super de duper. How are you guys doing today? Are you watching the video? Did you thumbs up yet? What up, Ben? What's up? It's a pretty cool shirt you got there. You know where I got this shirt? I got it from... I got it from this really, really cool dude. Probably the coolest guy I know. Is it me? No. Oh. Yeah, it's Ben. Uh, okay. I got it from Ben. But I paid him for it, so. He taxed me. <laughs> there, there's like 75 drafts for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's about cool. 76. I'll get in there and get to work. Thanks, Callie. Hey, no prop. How's that employee hub working out? It's not. No, you didn't get in yet? No, All right. I don't know what's up with that thing. <laughs> Alright, so I guess for the rest of the day at the warehouse, I'm going to get some lots built for our students. Ben's taking pictures, Callie's doing drafts, and then we're all going to go get lunch together. So that'll be it. I'm going to end the video here and make some lots. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Go and uh, go and find that, that place to set up your employee hub. Sweet. Thanks, Lindy. <laughs>